America, we need to rant. No, 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 we need to preach on yes. this subject, okay? For too long, we women have been forced to wear shapewear. What? <laughs> Tight, constraining, constricting things to try to shape our bodies into some sort of sausage that you can approve of. Yes. <laughs> Let me tell you something, America. We need to be free. We, we need, need to, to be, be comfortable. comfortable. <laughs> you remember your grandmama? Your grandmama wore a house coat all the live long day. And it was good. She had a slip up under it. Yes. Maybe with the pants yes. or maybe with a camisole top. Yes. But she was ready to put on a dress if she had to go someplace real. Uh -huh. But if she had to go out to get the mail. Yes. If she had to go talk to a neighbor. Right. Maybe get her casserole dish back. Yes. If she had to drop you off at school or go to the grocery store. Mm -hmm. Homegirl went in her house coat. That, that was my Aunt Arlene. That's right. And she had a house coat on for the deep, deep pockets. And she would pull out her little case. That's and it had right. her Virginia Slims inside. You know what I'm talking about. No more purse. You didn't need a purse with a house coat because it had everything you need. You yes. say, Grandmama, I'm hot. She'd be like, here's the fan, baby. Yes. You'd be like, Grandmama, my throat dry. She'd be like, here's some throat spray, baby. Yes. You'd be like, Grandmama, my arms ashy. Here's some lotion, baby. Yes. And you'd be like, Grandmama, I need to blow my nose. Here's some Kleenex. Would you like my hanky, baby? Yes. Come on now. She had her glasses with her at all times yes. and she needed them. And she could make a call if she had herself on, which you know Grandmama didn't. But Ugh. if she had them today, she would. She, she would. And let me tell you something. There were times when my mama would show up at 1 o'clock in the morning to pick me up from a house party in her in house, her house coat. Because this is the thing about a woman in a house coat. You do what she says. That's right. I believe police should wear house coats. Yes. And let because me tell you if, something. if I came up to you and said, move your car in a house coat, you move well, the car. Yes, it's gonna be gone. And let me tell you something. We weren't wearing, the women weren't wearing hundreds of dollars worth of athleisure. Well. Now, now I got to spend $200 on some yoga pants when you know my butt is not even doing yoga. Yes, yes. Let me you tell know you. I'm not doing that. You know what's yoga? going on I'm in this house coat? Freedom. Yes. Freedom, free, free. energy, love. I feel the founding fathers, their, their pure joy for freedom coursing through me. Yes. And it is just, and I'm cool. It lets air get up everybody. Yes. It's loose and free. We need to bring back the house coat. We started house coats for change. House coats for change. Yes. We should be able, man, you get your own house coat. That's you can right. use a robe if you need to. That's right. Okay. I, rec I recommend the house coat because it has a better closure than the rope. The rope yes, that can come rope, undone. Yeah, yes, but the yes. point is. Yes. Everybody should have the freedom to wear what they want. And there should be just places that are house coat friendly. This doesn't say I don't care. What it says is I do care. Yes. I care a great deal. This has been a Frangela Revolution. Thank you. Thank you. Me Time with Frangela.